working with you was a pleasure. Why, thank you. And uh, you are tough, but it's not... You were always very... You treated me very well as an employee. Yeah. And that's something I tell people all the time. Like, you don't understand kind of like what it takes to be in that position until you're in that position. So thankfully I'm in a position now that I'm responsible for a lot of shit. So people think I'm tough. Right. And people have said that I'm a little bit of an asshole. Right. And I'm like, that's totally fine. And I tell people more often now, I understand kind of like how you were when I first met you more now than I did then. Yeah. But I also remember when you would come into the kitchen for whatever reason, you would always give me a hug and say hello, which I thought was something that always stood out to me. Like, this guy is really fucking cool. And there was plenty of times in those three years that my life sucked. It was dreadful that I would say, hey, can I come by and chat? And you had a lot of things that you were responsible for and you still made time to talk to me, Yeah, which is not normal for a lot of people. A lot of people wouldn't make that time yeah. so that's something that i learned no matter how big things get i'll still always make time for people because it's very important and it will have an impact for i mean it's seven years ago yeah, and i'm yeah. still talking about it now well i appreciate that you know i think that it's interesting because we don't really like you said we don't realize the impact that people have on us until sure. much later which is sort of unfortunate right mm-hmm but I remember, like, my first job in Philly, I worked for a guy. His name was Toto, like the Wizard of Oz. That's a great dog, name. Toto. Great. Antonio Schiavone. Okay. Toto. Straight off the boat. Little guy. And he was like, he was the maitre d' of this restaurant. He didn't own it. But it was he, he, he ran it. And he was tough. And he took me under his wing. Right. And he was cool. And he was like my second father and opened a checking account for me. I was just cleaning out my office drawer because I moved offices. Mm-hmm. And I have this old check with his name on it, my name, co account. Oh, wow. Anyway, so he was super cool. Worked for that company for about five years. And he was like my mentor. And I had an opportunity. Well, I didn't even have an opportunity. I made an opportunity for myself. And I was going to move to California and find a job. And a lot of people thought that that was a bad idea, including my dad and including him. It was turned out to be the best thing that ever happened to me. I moved to California. I worked for Wolfgang. I, I went on to travel. It opened my eyes to a lot of things. But my point is, when I told that guy I was leaving, not to go across the street or to his competitor, but I was leaving to go spread my wings and move to California, he told me to get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. I was like... Get the fuck out of what? Like, what? And so that stuck with me for a long time. And I, you know, I, I vowed never to be that guy. Mm-hmm. And for people that, you know, that work for you, to leave, to wish them the best and, and hope that you had an impact yeah. on the decisions that they make. So, I mean, that's my story about it, you know. But, but I, I'm, I'm glad, you know, we had a connection. And I always appreciated you and your personality and your perspective and your professionalism. I have a story when you didn't appreciate me. This is a good one because I was a little asshole. 